Welcome back to Stoic Crypto. Today we're going to take a closer look at Potato Finance, the leading DeFi dApp aggregator and wallet manager on SWE. This is a free tool that anyone that's active or looking to be active in the SWE ecosystem needs to know about. We'll go through the process of setting up a new account. I'll show you simple things you can do to earn XP points and climb the leaderboard. We'll add some wallets so we can track our portfolio. We'll test out making a swap. We'll take a look at all the airdrop opportunities within the SWE ecosystem and much more. Before I start, please note nothing I say is financial advice. It's for education and entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. Taking a look at their expert profile. They have over 16,000 followers. And if we click on links, you can see they have both a web app and a mobile version of their app. Let's jump onto their website. We power unmatched notification experiences on SWE. Stay informed and in control with real-time notifications and powerful tools tailored for the SWE ecosystem. From wallet updates to protocol alerts, we bridge the gap between users and protocols, delivering seamless communication, advanced features, and unmatched utility all in one place. And here's the main thing right here. It's a win-win for everyone. We are creating solutions that benefit both users and protocols alike. Users stay informed, avoid risks, and maximize their opportunities, while protocols gain increased engagement and satisfaction from their community. A seamless collaboration where everyone wins. So we're going to dive into this in a second, but I quickly want to point out a few posts that are important. This one specifically, we're honored to be among the 12 finalists for the first ever SWE pitch day at SWE Base Camp. So SWE Base Camp in Dubai is coming up in May, and they were chosen among these other 12 projects in the SWE ecosystem. You can see right here, Potato Finance, along with Magma, Raiden X, and some other big players to be able to pitch their project to a panel of VCs and investor judges at SWE Base Camp. So that's a big deal. They're constantly integrating with DeFi protocols in the SWE network. Here you can see new integration with Kai Finance. You'll now be notified the moment your liquidity positions are out of range right on your phone. You can see that they're integrated with Flowex Finance. They're integrated with Steam. You track your Steam positions rewards directly in Potato Finance. So this is a great solution for SWE ecosystem users that want to keep track of everything they're doing with trading DeFi across all the protocols with different wallets they use on one dashboard. So let's dive into it right now. So this is just potato.app board slash board. And we're going to go through this as a new user. So you can do this with me. We're going to go ahead and click on get started. And I'm just going to say I'm new here. So the first wallet I'll enter is just going to be Stoy1. I'm going to open my SWE wallet and I'm just going to copy my wallet address, paste it in right here. You have the option of tracking your wallet. So I'll leave it on this is my wallet. You can also track any other wallet within the SWE ecosystem and I'll say add wallet. So it updated right away. It's going to show your wallet's net worth, which is going to include coins, DeFi positions, NFTs. This is kind of cool here. It shows your protocol reward. So if you're providing liquidity on CDIS or you're lending on Sweeland, you'll see everything right here. Let's go ahead and add another wallet. We'll click on wallets. Let's see, here's the first one we added. Let's click on add new. Let's call this one SWE1. I'm going to go ahead and copy receive address for this second wallet and we'll paste it right here. Again, this is my wallet. You do have the option to track anyone else's wallet. Click add wallet. All right, so now we have two wallets in here. I think you can have as many as you'd like. Let's go back to the dashboard. You're gonna see wallet net worth for the one that you have selected. Right now, SWE1, that's the one we just added. You could change it to the first one we did, Stoy1, or if you wanna see your total portfolio across all wallets, click on all own wallets, and it'll update it right there. So again, super clean dashboard, easy to see everything that you own, easy to see your total net worth across as many wallets as you have in one spot. Here's where you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and connect via mobile with their Telegram app so you can manage this at home and on the go. And just scanning through this real quickly so you can see portfolio, SWE name, I have one, borrow health if I was borrowing on Sweeland or other DeFi protocols I would show here, the number of NFTs I have in those two wallets and then notifications. Wallet exposure, this is great. So you can see 71% SWE and then a bunch of meme coins it looks like. Asset allocation, quick snapshot of market prices, current market sentiment, this is pretty cool. And then latest news, keep you up to date with all their integrations. Let's start with airdrops. Let's click on airdrops and you can see ongoing airdrops, farmable guides, and possible airdrop opportunities within the SWE ecosystem. You can see right at the top, they have potato achievements. So that's interesting. I don't think there's been an official announcement on an airdrop, but they are listed first on the airdrops page and you can earn XP points, which I'll show you here in a second. This is a great resource just to see other opportunities, Magma Finance, Full Sail Finance, Eka, Momentum, we talked about that one, within the SWE ecosystem where you have a clear picture of what protocols you'd want to interact with to potentially qualify for upcoming airdrops. Let's go ahead and start with the potato achievements. It's a brand new account. I've achieved one. I have 67 unachieved. So I did the wallet wizard, added a wallet. We got 100 XP points. So then you can go through here and easily increase your points. Simply add a nickname, a profile picture, answer this riddle, and then just start swapping. So you can see there's different levels to making swaps through the potato app. And it looks like that's probably the easiest way to continuously gain XP points. So real quickly, by simply adding a nickname. We'll just call this Stoy. 
I earn points on that. And then uploading an avatar, we'll just go with that one. That's gonna earn XP points. Logging in with Telegram is another activity you can do and so on. So back to achievements, we've added a wallet, a nickname and a profile picture. Riddle, what's the number one dashboard on Sui? I would guess that would be Potato. All right, so we just earned another 100 XP points. And then it looks like it's super simple. Just go through and make swaps. Let's check that out. So let's go to swap. It's like we just connect our wallet and they have all the options, right? They have Sui wallet, Phantom wallet, OKX, Stash. Let's just go with Sui wallet and I'll connect it. And I have some USDC in here. So we'll just say all of it and we'll swap it to Sui. We'll earn seven XP points. We'll go ahead and say swap and approve it. Swap successful. That's really easy. So then if we go back to achievements, we now have a check mark for the riddle completed and swap rookie. Swapped one time on potato. Swap cadet. Swap five times on potato over five days to earn this badge. Swap veteran. Swap 10 times on potato over 10 days. 500 points. So again, you can gain these achievements and you can earn XP rewards by simply being consistent and making swaps on here, it looks like. Let's go back to our dashboard. Let's click on portfolio. This is so nice to have a clear picture of your full portfolio across all wallets. Maybe you have two wallets like I had showed in this example, or maybe you have five or six. Well, this becomes super helpful to know what you're holding across all of them. See it in one place and make informed decisions. You know, Maybe you notice that AAA cat finally ran, right? And I'm gonna take some profit. That's something you might not have known. You forgot you had it in a wallet you created a long time ago. So this is super helpful. And then protocol balances. Maybe you forgot that you provided liquidity on CDS a couple months ago. You can see it right here. You can see the rewards. And then your asset allocation is nice right here as well. Again, this tool is completely free. So if you are active in the Sui ecosystem, this is a game changer for managing your portfolio, keeping up to date with airdrops in the ecosystem, potentially one here since they have their leaderboard. They have a referral program. So you can go here and invite a friend. You can copy your link here. You can share it on Telegram, share it on X. So this is kind of cool market stats. Bull market top indicator is a tool that helps you identify the peak of the bull market. So you can sell at the top and then current market sentiment. So this is great to have this on here. And then manage notifications. So this is big. So account based notifications, general notifications that are not wallet related. Let's click on wallet based notifications for story one. So by default, they're all going to be turned on. You could turn them all off if you wanted to. Here's the updates you're going to get. Uh, so for Sui, general blockchain activity, send, receive, swap, stake, unstake, name service. It's going to let you know if your names are expiring. And then if you are using Navi, you'll see your borrow health. Same thing with Sweeland and Scallop. And then with the DEXs, liquidity pools, it'll notify you if you're out of range. If you are using Kyra, Bluefin, Cetus, or any of these, it'll notify you if you're out of range with your position, which is really nice. Trayport is a top marketplace for Sui NFTs. So if you're actively bidding on them or someone bids on yours, you'll get notification on that as well. And you can turn them on and off whenever you want. So this is a tool that I'm going to use going forward, both on the desktop and mobile. I'll mirror it. So I have a clear picture of where I stand with all of my Sui ecosystem assets across all of my wallets. And I encourage you to check it out as well. I'll continue to use it to make swaps and earn XP in case there is an airdrop for potato in the future. This is one of the cleanest user interfaces I've seen portfolio managers on any chain. So really well done. Definitely jump into their discord and just be active. You'll gain new roles by doing that. Let's go back to the potato dashboard. Let's just go through this real quick portfolio. You're going to get a clear view of your wallet balances, your protocol balances. So if you're lending, providing liquidity, you'll see it over here along with your rewards and then asset allocation, Sui name. This is where you'll see your Sui NS if you have any. Currently, I just have one and then when it expires. So that's really nice. If we click on the three dots, you can go ahead and renew it right from here. If we go to borrow health, I don't have anything borrowed, but if you did, it would show here. NFTs, this is where you can see all the NFTs that you hold in your wallet. The notifications, it's gonna show you all the activity that's happening in your wallets in real time. This is really nice. So I highly recommend checking out Potato. It's a great way to manage all of your sweet assets in one place, stay on top of what's happening and be able to take advantage of airdrop opportunities within this Sui ecosystem. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more crypto content. See you in the next one.